Learning more about a series of violent street takeovers that led to a shooting and a stolen car set on fire. News for Tucson's chief investigative reporter, Chorus Nylander, has been following the stories. He is at TPD headquarters and spoke with Tucson police leadership about what is being done to address this continuing problem. Chorus. Yeah, well, Sean, things were even worse this weekend than we even uh, previously knew about. Tonight, Tucson Police Department tells me they had a total of four street takeovers this past weekend. One ended in a shooting. There were two different fires started and a police pursuit that had to be called off due to the high speeds. Street racing and related criminal activities are not a new phenomenon, of course, but for the past four years, the News 4 Tucson investigators have shown you some of the impacts across town. We've seen deadly accidents caused by street racing. Despite efforts to crack down, Police Lieutenant Jesse Chamberlain here tells me they've been seeing more violence associated with some of these uh, street takeovers and street racing activity. He says it's uh, really fueled by social media. He believes that's a big part of the difference. After a series of investigations and in, uh, I did back on this issue at the end of 2020, Tucson Police made an effort back then to utilize off-duty volunteer officers to pick up shifts and help address uh, the street racing issues during the most active time, which is usually the early morning hours on the weekends. Lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Chamberlain says that they feel that wasn't doing enough. Now they're taking a slightly different approach. When, in July uh, of this year, we reallocated some of our, our patrol resources so that each of the four patrol divisions now have a second community response team. This team will work over the weekend and evening hours and one of their primary responsibilities will be to address uh, the street racing issues that we're facing uh, today. I don't know, I don't know where else to go and so I asked the community for help and I'm hoping soon to be able to have means of transportation again. That was Trisha Saucedo. Her car was stolen, and is the car you could see in the video there that was set ablaze on 12th Avenue and Drexel Street over this uh, weekend, early Sunday morning. She's a single mother of two children, now feeling the true impacts of crimes that go hand in hand with these street racing groups. We're going to have more on her struggle and more on what the police department plans to do to address this issue coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. We're live from downtown at Tucson Police Department headquarters. Chorus Nylander, News 4 Tucson. Thank you, Chorus. And we'd like to add, if you would like to help Trisha out during this difficult time, we have a link to an online fundraiser that's been set up to help her get a new vehicle. You can find it on our website at kboa.com. In other news, Decision 2024.